If you've sent the wrong event name to GA4 or want to standardize your naming conventions, then event modifications are a great way to do that because of how quick and easy they are. Event modifications are at the top of what I call the GA4 event pyramid. There are a lot of different ways to create events in GA4, and modified events are at the uppermost layer because they rely on any event data that you've already collected within GA4. If you want to learn more about the other layers in this pyramid, I highly recommend subscribing and clicking the notification bell because I will be creating videos on these other uh, layers in the near future. If we want to create an event modification in GA4, let's look at an example of, of a case where this works pretty well. So let's just say that I set up e-commerce tracking for purchases in GA4 and my purchase event is firing with this name purchases. On the surface, it might not seem like there's anything wrong with that, but if I check out my reporting under e-commerce purchases, then it's probably going to look like this. And the reason why is because GA4 relies on what they call recommended events in order to fill in their native reporting here. If we look at GA4's recommended events for online sales, we look at purchases. The correct name to use in this case is purchase. So we want to make sure that we're using that exact name so that we can get the native reporting to be uh, populated here. To set up our modification, we'll go to modify event and we'll create a new one. And so the first thing that we'll do here is add our name. So we'll just say that we're converting purchases to purchase. In this case, we're going to set our conditions here. So we want this to apply to any event name that equals purchases. And then this is basically where we're going to identify our new result. In this case, we want our new event name where it equals purchases to just be purchase. So now we'll save that event. And for any of these events moving forward, any future instances of purchases will be processed and renamed as purchase. So this will make sure that moving forward, we're able to see our purchase data here in GA4's native reporting. So a couple of quick things to be aware of there, it's not going to apply retroactively. So any historical purchase data won't show up here, but anything after our modification will apply. And second, it's important to know that you have a limit of up to 50 event modifications here in the interface. So if you do have a chance to fix these things at the source, then it's definitely recommended that you do that so that you don't have to use up one of your 50 event modifications. That being said, dev teams get busy and it's not always immediately easy to address those things at the source. So this is a great option for you to use in a pinch.